Hi friends, this is Monica and in this video I will share pages from a recently completed sketchbook and also share a few tips of how you can create your own collection of sketches like this. First of all, thank you so much for sticking with me even though I have not been able to create a new video in quite some time now. We all experience phases in life where it is simply not possible to devote as much time to art as one would like to. And this is exactly where the beauty of sketchbooks comes into play. This is small sketchbook, just about four by six inches in size, can be easily slipped into a handbag, purse, or stuck into the dashboard of a car. <laughs> it is small enough to be carried everywhere, and yet it has enough footprint to capture something meaningful. These two things have made it my favorite sketchbook and a constant companion to wherever I go. Along with sketchbook, I also carry a very compact sketch kit. Again, portability is my number one priority for a sketchbook I want to use during travels or for outings where I really don't plan to sketch but want to be prepared in case some inspiration strikes. So let me start by sharing about my sketching kit. And you don't have to remember everything because I have a blog post on how to choose a sketchbook and how to prepare a sketching kit and I will post the link in description below. For this sketchbook, my key considerations were a small size, a spiral binding that allows me to tear apart pages I absolutely do not want to keep, and a heavyweight paper that can take watercolor. A carry, a pencil case with a 2B pencil, a small eraser, and a few micron pigma pens. I also carry a compact watercolor kit, but note that this is optional. You can always color in a bit after getting back home. For water, I use water brush pens that can be pre-filled with water and then I don't have to worry about any water spills. I will probably do another video with a demo of this sketching kit. If you are new to sketching, then I recommend choosing a simple and small subject to draw. You can practice indoors by keeping, say, a small fruit on a table and try to draw that. Even a small, simple subject teaches a lot about composition, ratio, perspective, light and shadow. Small, sketch small and sketch often. The more you try to draw and sketch the real life objects around you, the more you will hone your ability to see like an artist. It will also build your personal collection of references that you can use in any full size painting afterwards. I usually start any sketch with penciling in my subject lightly. It helps to think of sketchbook as a private journal or notebook meant for your eyes only. This allows us to be more experimental and expressive. Sketching lightly also allows us to try different compositional layouts. Once I am satisfied with the layout and see that my subject fits into the page, then I go over it using a micron pigma pen. I love this pen because it is water resistant and so I can go over the sketch with watercolor and it won't ruin my drawing. I like using thin pens using 005 microns or 02 micron, especially when using a small sketchbook like this. A thicker pen can make the page look very crowded. Also note that the size of the pen you will use affects the perspective. So try using thinner pens for faraway areas and use a little thicker nibs like 08 or even 1 for closer objects. Although don't let this deter you for experimenting on your own. The key thing is to have fun. The drawing doesn't need to be perfect. It doesn't need to be neat either. Regardless of how your drawing looks, I promise that by the time you finish your sketch, you would have learned an awful lot about your subject. The shapes, the colors, how it shines in light or the hues it has in shade, how it moves. Maybe you will notice another subject nearby that you didn't pay attention to earlier. Maybe you will notice some interesting shapes made by clouds above. Maybe you will notice a rock submerged in water. Sketching is more about seeing and experiencing whatever it is that you are trying to sketch. And not about any accurate or gallery worthy artwork. Whatever you see and you experience during the sketching process 
will become a part of your psyche and will enhance any future art that you make in very subtle ways. So don't get disheartened by any perceived lack of quality in your artwork. Remember that it is for your eyes only and enjoy the process. If you have any questions about tools or techniques that you see on my, my channel or my page, feel free to post them in comment below. Also, if there is any specific sketch, scene or subject that you like from my sketchbook, please feel free to post in comments below and I'll create a more in-depth video on drawing for that particular subject. That's all for now. If you like this video, then don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Also connect with me on Facebook or Instagram to check out more of my artwork and let me know what specific areas you would like to see more in this in future videos. Thanks so much.